Hey, Richard Mellor here. Um, you know, I'm with Facts Working People, the blog, but right now I'm sitting on my sitting on my porch, reading, trying to catch up on my reading, reading, and I'm drinking one of my uh, non-alcoholic beverages. And I'm thinking about, you know, in this country, well, in all countries actually, we're taught to fear uh, everything. Uh, I think it's, it's more pronounced in this country. We, uh, uh, Russian aggression, Chinese aggression, uh, Putin, uh, hordes of, uh, uh, of people coming up from the south taking advantage of our disgraceful, pathetic uh, social services. Canadians don't come down here for health care. And so uh, I'm reading, uh, I'm thinking about this stuff, uh, this, this uh, Iranians, I'm supposed to worry about Iranians, before that was Iraq, then communists, and uh, you just, it's, it's just non-stop. They have to keep you always on your toes about foreign things, about outsiders, about people that look different, about people that worship different, I don't worship anything, I'm not a religious person, but that sort of thing. And so, as I was, uh, I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, but the real, th the real, uh, the, uh, the greatest threat, and the the most um, uh, fearsome enemy is internal. It's U.S. capitalism, and I don't, not just capitalism. We all live in, the, we all live under capitalism in this country, and the, capitalism is the dominant economic system globally. But it's the 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 the, the people, the politicians that carry out the policies of, the, of a, a capitalist state that are anti-social to working people, poor people, to nature and everything else because capitalism is all about making profit. And so um, uh, uh, we are faced constantly with, with, with this barrage of uh, 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 an assault on us from internal forces. Let's look at two... Let's look at two two examples. One of them is Uber. The, the U.S. Justice Department, Justice Department is, is suing Uber because Uber is charging fees and has been since about 2016 for um, disabled people because they take longer to get in the truck, in the car. It takes them longer so they want to charge fees to them. What sort of people do that? I mean some of them may be War veterans, whether you agree with the war or not, it's working class people that get sent there. That's why unemployment is a good thing. No other options. So it might be somebody that lost their limbs in Vietnam or, 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 or uh, Iraq or some other place we shouldn't have been in. So they thought, oh, let's charge them a little more, it takes them longer to get in. That's capitalism. That's entrepreneurship. It's taking advantage of a good situation. And that's what Uber's been doing. And then uh, they got sued by the Justice Department. We can't rely on the courts because the courts, we don't own them. Money owns the courts. Uber's wait time fees take a significant toll on people with disabilities, says U.S. Attorney Stephanie Hines. You know? So, uh, <laughs> we know what these people, we all know what they're like. And the other little snippet I read here today, or well, a couple of days ago, Dental care. I'm getting older. I know I look, I probably look about 35 to 40, I, I suppose, but I, I'm much older than that. And my body is deteriorating. And my teeth are deteriorating. I get $1,000 a year for dental work. You know what that is? Two and a half fillings. Something over here cost me seven grand or so a couple of years ago. If this cap goes and the situation with my teeth and my bone, be another six, seven thousand dollars. What? What did I work all my life to give to give a dentist kid a, a good college education? You know. And I, I read a little piece in the Wall Street Journal. It took my eye because I'm, I'm, I'm I have some dental work that I'm trying to avoid. A thousand a year is nothing. In fact, it was in the stimulus where we would get some help, but neither of two the two Wall Street parties could ac could accomplish that. They didn't have a problem with a 700, 800 billion dollars worth of offense spending, but they can't fix my damn teeth, you know, or they won't break me or take all the savings I've accumulated over 30 years, 40 years of working. And so I'm reading this little thing, so what do they do? There's a, they, they, the article has this little thing about a woman, she's 60, 74 years old, 
retired social worker. She can't afford the dental care. It's a lucrative market. Credit cards. Some money lenders are coming up now with cards purely for uh, dental care, which is exorbitant in this country, and also for pet care. They, they encourage us to get our pets and everything else, uh, but it costs a fortune to, to if they and you got, grow attached to them. You don't want to lose them. My little dog saved my life. The guy I just put inside because he barked in my last attempt at this, at some dog walking by. He thinks he owns a neighbourhood. You know, and, and, and it costs thousands of dollars to get an animal fixed. That's why they get abandoned, get left, get taken up into the hills. Why uh, people can't afford to, to do that. So they've got these credit cards now. So this woman's got a, uh, I don't have the article in front of me, but my memory of it, you know, she's, she's, she, she, she's, she's into this credit card. She borrowed the money to get their dental work. A lot of people borrow money to get health care in this country. And if she doesn't pay off that, that debt, within a certain amount of time here, she'll be hit for 27% interest. Why are we reliant, why are money lenders determining, determining whether I can get my teeth fixed? This is the US. These people are our enemies. The, 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 the people that support it, the people that legislate the laws, pass the laws that uh, allow it, they're all our enemies. They're more our enemies than some Iranian. Even the mullahs, who the hell are they? Religious fanatics, I have got no time for them. If you want to blame anybody for the mullahs in Iran, blame U.S. imperialism that overthrew the secular democratic government of Mossadegh in 1953. Most Americans wouldn't have a clue of that. They don't know where Iran is anyway. It's where the Persian Gulf is, <laughs> where we don't like Persians to sell their boats. So, I mean, you know, at what point are people going to turn on the enemy within? That's why the whole... Uh, the whole idea that workers of the world unite. Now that's a Marx, Marx coined that phrase, he may have got it somewhere else, I don't know. He didn't get it from Jimmy Savile, I know that. It's a great statement. Because the ruling class in different countries, including ours, don't care about me. About veterans. We had Veterans Day, what, a, what, a, what garbage it is. Talk to people who work at the VA. Hundreds of thousands of American veterans uh, 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 from these wars that are not in our own interests. You know, what were they doing in, in Afghanistan? What, what were they doing 20 years in Afghanistan? And of course, millions of uh, people have suffered that aren't American because we have the technology to kill people uh, 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 and not allow as many of our own people to be killed. And Americans just close their eyes to it in that situation. I, I, I wrote a piece not long ago, you know, when will the American, uh, how long will the American working class, the US American working class, tolerate this abuse? Well, you can't get your teeth fixed. You can't get, the, the, some, some other American who owns a, a, some cab driving company, So it, an investor, it's not like the old days, yeah? Some guy had a business and he had five or six cars or ten cars and he had a cab company. This is some twit that sits in an office somewhere or in his uh, his home and manages this corporation when are we gonna when are we gonna stop that so anyway I'm sitting out here and as I say it's a lovely day global warming very warm for this time of year I hope we get some rain because it's it's not good if we don't I'm watching one of my neighbors across the street sweep she's a wonderful character I like my neighborhood we should the part of our community when we're in it, no matter where we are. Anyway, these are some thoughts, and I'll um, check it out, and if I like it, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. Richard Miller, Facts for Working People. We have a blog, Facts for Working People. The URL is we know what's up blogspot.com. No apostrophe for the what's up. Alright, take care.